Hey everyone, welcome to Short Circuits with Marsha. When I initially designed this TRX core circuit, I had a certain group of people in mind. People who were maybe new to TRX, or people who didn't really feel very confident or strong in their core, not very comfortable in that TRX suspended plank position, the one where you put your feet in the cradles and your hands on the floor. But when I tested out the circuit, I found that it was a solid, challenging core workout appropriate for anybody at any fitness level. So whether you're here to just do a follow along abdominal workout with me, or whether you want to strengthen your core and take your exercises up to the next level, you're in the right place. So make sure you're warmed up and let's get started. You're going to want to make sure that the TRX cradles are about 10 inches off the floor and you're going to get behind the anchor point. Our first exercise is a kneeling rollout and we're going to do 12 reps. So you want to make sure that your hands are right under the anchor point and we're going to be rolling out and coming back to that start position. So that's one and we've got 11 more. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Next we're going to be doing an oblique kneeling rollout. So we're going to turn almost 90 degrees. Hands are still under the anchor point and we're going to reach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and we're going to do it on the other side. Make sure those hands are even. One, two, nice strong arms. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. Next exercise is going to be from a lying position. So you're going to come right down onto your back and you're going to make sure that your eyes are right under the anchor point. So when you look up, you're looking at the anchor point. Legs are bent, feet on the floor, and you're holding on to those handles and we're going to do an assisted crunch. So we're doing 12 reps again, coming on up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So you should be starting to feel that a little bit, not too badly. Our next one is going to be a resisted crunch. So you're going to take your hands down into the cradles. I like to lengthen out my legs just a little bit here. That helps. 
And we're going to try to keep downward pressure in the cradles, into the straps, long arms, so don't want to bend your elbows. You want to keep your, your arms nice and straight, all those muscles engaged, and we're going to come up. One. And maybe you can't come this high up first. You're just going to work on it, too. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. So that one's a lot more challenging. Okie dokie. We're going to keep those hands long. We're going to lift the feet off the floor and make sure we're kind of crept, crept back there. You want to bring your eyes right under the anchor point again. You're going to lift your feet off the floor. Legs are at 90 degrees. And we're going to drop one leg down, hinging at the hips and up. And then same thing on the other side. That counts as one. Two, make sure those knees stay over your hips and they don't creep forward towards your chest. Three, keep that downward pressure in the cradles. Four, five, six, seven, Lower back is towards the floor, always. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. And we're just going to give that lower back a little bit of a break by hugging the knees in. Taking a few breaths here, and you can pause if you want to. And then we're going to take it back to the bent leg position. Pressure in the cradles, and we're going to do a double leg drop here with the bent knees. If you're not feeling like you're ready for this, just do another set of single legs. So here we go. Lower back towards the floor, hinging at the hips. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And hug those knees again. Take a little bit of a break. And we're going to take this to the next level. We're going to straighten the legs. They're right over the hips again. Downward pressure in the cradles. And we're going to do single leg drops here. So remember to keep that lower back towards the floor. And here we go. That's one. Keep those arms engaged. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven. Ten, eleven, 
and 12. Hug your knees in. You know what's coming next. So remember, if you're not feeling comfortable or if you're feeling anything strange in your lower back, you can stick with those single leg drops, but we're going to take it up to double leg drops. Nice, strong arms. Here we go. One. And you don't need to come all the way down to the floor. You can come halfway. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And 12, hug your knees in. Okay, so that's nine exercises. We've got one more exercise. So we're gonna sit up for this one. This one is a regular hand plank. So one of the little tests as to whether you're ready to be able to go into the TRX suspended plank position is that you need to be able to hold a regular plank for 60 seconds. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Now I've got two 30 second intervals. So if you are just starting out, aim for 30 seconds and then try to gradually add more and more time so we work our way up to 60 seconds. So you're gonna hear the beat halfway and you can decide if that's where you wanna stop or if you wanna continue all the way through with me. So hands are gonna be under the shoulders, Nice strong legs, squeeze those glutes, brace the core. Ready and go. We're at more than 15 seconds here. So stay with me if you can, challenge yourself. And we've got 10 more seconds. And that's it guys. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you feel like you want to, you can always take you back to the beginning and do it another time. Make sure you let me know your thoughts. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Share, subscribe, and until next time, take care of you and I'll see you in my gym.